All right, I'm sharing with you guys my wood butter recipe. And I've been making this stuff for probably about four and a half years. And I give away a two ounce tin with every cutting board and charcuterie board that I make that has an oil finish on it. All right, so you're gonna wanna use all food grade products. And I mean all food grade products. Okay, so there's a lot of people that get beeswax off of Amazon and they've had some really bad experiences with it smelling like plastic and tasting bad and things like that. So um, I'm going to link down below everything that I have bought, tried and true and that I continue to use to this day. All right, so uh, you're going to start out with every... 16 ounces of food grade mineral oil you're going to add four ounces of beeswax okay one thing that i started doing a little while ago was i added my oil first and i started warming that up while i was cutting down the beeswax well because it takes a long time to cut down this damn beeswax unless you're getting the pellets but i do not like to use the pellets i just don't all right so add your oil and then break down your beeswax um, like I said, every 16 ounces of oil, you're going to add four ounces of food grade beeswax. Okay. All right. Here it is right here. All right. So I also have a lemon scented board butter, and this is an option. You don't have to add lemon. Like you can use an essential oil or you can just use lemon. All right, so here I'm making my lemon scented one and lemon actually acts as a cleanser. So it kind of cleans the board as you're oiling the board. Um, a lot of people didn't know, but you can't just use any kind of oil on your board. If you use vegetable oil or olive oil or anything like that on your cutting boards or your spoons, that can go rancid and that is not good. All right, so here are some metal two ounce tins that I use. I tried to use plastic ones before and this stuff was so hot that it melted them. It's gonna go from this to that to that, okay? All right, so a couple tips is do not put the lids on hot. Start warming up your oil before you put the beeswax in. Um, if you're gonna measure one by volume, measure the other one by volume. If you're gonna measure them by weight, measure them both by weight all right so that's it if you got something out of this video subscribe i try to put out helpful content if you got a question or you want to see a video uh made drop a comment um like please uh you don't got to share it but if you just copy link that helps out a lot um helps it get pushed out you want to see the pup say hi hey say hi hey they can't see you when you move around can you sit sadie sit Good girl. Hi, baby. All right, so if you got something out of this video, uh, press the like button. I really work hard to bring you guys some helpful content. Uh, if you could see that video was recorded like 2019, the beginning, and then um, it's like three board butter, board butter, board butter. It's like three board butter makes. Um, I make them every couple. I make them every couple months, and um, yeah, I offer them with my charcuterie board. So when I send out a charcuterie board, it's a nice little gift to add on to your client, and it doesn't cost a lot to make. So um, you can also source beeswax from local beekeepers. That's what I like to do. Um, if you want, everything that I use is down in the description. Uh, yeah, okay, bye.